it actually starts with copper sheets that are two and a half or three millimeters thick or sometimes one and a half for the coffee pots. We take them to the spinning machine or we start hammering them by hand. The search terms in English and I realized to my great horror then that the market was dominated by the French, the Italians and the, the Belgians who do not have a history of copper smithing. You know, Turkey, Iran, India and Syria have it. And I was furious that I, I looked at the Turkish markets and there is no brand. Uh, and then I went like, why doesn't anyone in Turkey, where we have so much like know-how and skill, do those copper pots? And uh, then the pots are also all handmade in Istanbul and Turkey, where we have the best copper smithing and silver smithing tradition in the world, by far. Then, uh, when the sides are complete, we put the last set of hammer on them uh, to hide the scars and uh, to harden them even more. And after this is done also, uh, we um, polish the inside and we plate it in silver or in tin. And then we also, we, meanwhile while we do this, we um, file the handles, which come from casting like very dirty and plenty of defects. Then we mount the handles on, we engrave the serial number and the pot is red. Well, soy in Turkish means means a lot of things actually, it means the roots, the essence, the, the pedigree, the origin. And this, this craft, it's in our soy, I mean, it's in our uh, pedigree and origin, not uh, Western Europeans.